Why is Ichala, the ferocious form of enlightenment, so popular in most schools of Mahayana Buddhism? Why is Ashala, also called Fudo Mio, the ultimate manifestation of wrathful, compassionate activity? Why does he resemble a stern warrior or enforcing police officer with weapons drawn? Please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you. We visualize Achala, or Fido Mio in Japan, as the wrathful soldier form. He is the same deity as Virajana Buddha, a wrathful emanation of the Buddha of Light. He is prominent in the Maha Virajana Sutra and is also described with his symbolism in the Arya Chala Sutra. At that time, there was a great wisdom king in the vast assembly of Verachana. This great wisdom king possesses unlimited majestic power. Having the virtue of great compassion, he appears in a blue-black form. Having the virtue of great stillness, he sits on an adamantine rock. Having great wisdom, he manifests great flames. He wields the great sword of wisdom to destroy greed, ignorance, and hatred. He holds the snare of luminous mind to bind those hard to tame. Because he is the formless Dharmakaya identical with space, he has no fixed abode, his only dwelling is within the hearts of sentient beings. Although the minds and inclinations of sentient beings differ, by each one's desires, he bestows blessings and provides whatever is being sought. At that time, the great assembly, having heard this sutra, rejoiced greatly, faithfully accepted it, and put it into practice. He is chief among the Vijarajas or Wisdom Kings. He is so stern and all-powerful that his full Sanskrit name, Arya Akalanatha, means Noble Immovable Lord, indicating that nothing can shake his attention or power. Fudo Mio, or Achala in Sanskrit, is instantly recognizable by the classic blue-black body of wrath, the raised sword, and the ferocious face. He looks like a warrior who never rests, guarding the temple and our hearts and practicing with enlightened, wrathful compassion. Just like our stern parent protects us from harm as children, Achala is metaphorically ready to fight off our obstacles with his great Vajra sword. In the classic visualization, he has one fang tooth protruding up from his snarling mouth and one down, indicating his wrathful activities are directed at all six realms of beings, below and above. Likewise, he often has one wrathful eye looking upwards and one looking downwards, called heaven and earth eyes. This is the type of warrior we need when facing difficulties, war, strife, poverty, illness, or suffering. Who do you go to for protection when you're under attack from overwhelming evildoers? The well-armed Dharma warrior who is heroically devoted to law and order and protection. Or the kindly monk focused on mindful meditation. In those difficult times, the image of the warrior or policeman triggers the needed meditative response. He is especially reassuring in his form with a lotus crown on the top of his head, reminding us that he is fully enlightened even though he is wrathful compassion. In Mahayana Buddhism, and especially Vajrayana, we visualize the Buddha in countless forms 
as part of the meditation on the enlightened body, speech, and mind. The form we imagine is the enlightened body. His mantra and sutra represent the Dharma or enlightened speech. The seed syllable symbolizes the mind or wisdom essence. Every Buddha has a wrathful emanation form, a heroic form, and other forms. Mahavirajana, the cosmic Buddha, emanates in every form according to the important Mahavirajana Sutra. The particular wrathful emanation of Virajana is a chala or fido mio. They are almost always together in a temple, with Mahavirajana as the center of attention guarded by the wrathful Achala. In the cosmic mandala, Mahavirochana is the mandala's center, surrounded by the four Dhyani Buddhas. At the same time, Achala or Fudo Miyo is the center of the womb mandala, surrounded by the four wrathful aspects of the Dhyani Buddhas. Achala's mantra is the mantra of compassionate help, to signify his Buddhist role. He is the activity of wrathful compassion. The main lineages arise from the Mahavairochana Sutra, but other emanations appear in lineage practices according to various Sama traditions in Tibet. He was very popular in India in the 8th and 9th centuries, with six Sanskrit texts dedicated solely to his practice translated by the master Amoga Vajra. His practice spans Nepal, Tibet, China, Japan, and worldwide. Achala's seed syllable, or mind essence, is Ham, a syllable of wrathful power and respect. It is often confused with whom, which looks similar and sounds similar. His mantra is from the all-important Mahavirachana Sutra, both in the long and short forms. The mantra of compassionate help is Nam Samanta Vajra Nam Shanda Maharosanasp Ota Yaham Trata Ma Nam Samanta Vajra Nam Shanda Maharosanasp Ota Yaham Trata Ma Nama Samanta Vajra, Nam Shanda Maha Rosanas, Hota Yahutra Tamma. In English, this translates, more or less, as Homage to the all encompassing Vajra, O violent one of great wrath, destroy all obstacles, negativities, and evil. Even though this is a reasonable translation, mantras should be chanted in Sanskrit, as seed syllables have layers of meaning, and sounds and vowels are sacred. For example, the seed syllable of our chala is ham. Translating it as violent one, of great wrath only carries one of the central aspects of the seed syllable. There is also a shorter mantra of our chala or fudo mio found in the Mahavirochana Sutra. Nama Samanta Vajra Nam Ha. Nama Samanta Vajra Nam Ha. Nama Samanta Vajra Nam Which more or less translates as homage to the all encompassing Vajra, wrathful hero. Although there are several poses and even different color aspects of Fudo Mio, he is consistently portrayed in all aspects with his Vajra sword and usually his noose. He is always wrathful, fanged and usually blue-black but has red and yellow aspects. Archella has an entourage of 48 acolytes who represent the forces of nature. The two primary attendants often seen serving him are Kimkara and Chaitaka. Kimkara is usually white with his hands joined in respect. Chaitaka is ordinarily red and holds a Vajra in his left hand and a Vajra staff in his right. In South Asian Buddhist art, 
He can appear standing or kneeling on one knee, often with the sword raised as if to strike. In the Chanda Maharosana Tantra, he is described this way. His right hand is terrifying, with a sword in it. His left is holding a noose. He is making a threatening gesture with his index finger and bites his lower lip with his fangs. Kicking with his right foot, he is smashing the four maras. His left knee is on the ground. Squint-eyed, he inspires fear. He makes a threatening gesture at the earth. He is kneeling on the cap of his left knee. He is of blue color and wears a jeweled headdress. A princely youth wearing five braids of hair, adorned with all the ornaments. He appears to be 16 years old and his eyes are red, he, the powerful one. Whether we visualize a chala or Fido Mio in the exotic and beautiful Japanese form, or the Mara tramping South Asian style, he is the go-to practice for people facing obstacles, negativities, war, disease or ripening negative karma. As the wrathful activity of the great Mahavairochana, he brings the power of compassionate help, the enlightened cosmic Buddha, into our lives. If you enjoyed this presentation, please subscribe. Please consider supporting our mission Spread the Dharma on Patreon at patreon.com slash Buddha Weekly. Thank you. Buddha Weekly, helping to spread the Dharma. Thank you.